Hello everybody, welcome back. Hope you're having an amazing day. And I hope that this video actually meets you guys safe. So guys, today I'll be showing you how to make this delicious soya guys. Look at it. It's so tender. It's juicy on the inside guys. This beef is so tender and it's filled or it's packed with natural flavors. Just look at that goodness. Look at that and the color as well guys. Oh my god it's so amazing if you want to know how to make this curry soya guys without the skewers stay tuned so guys the first thing is you need your beef i'm using this you know they call it like the hunchback uh it's kind of not really fatty but the first thing that uh, i would do is i'll put my no cubes make sure that your hands and everything you know everything is well washed and clean and stuff like that so i'll flip my beef over so when i'm done flipping my beef i will add the left over no cubes guys to me i believe that you know one of the seasonings that you can still use you know is your fingers i'm just kidding but your hands there's something when you use your hand to either marinate or mix your marinade into you know it can be your beef or your chicken or whatever you're trying to do like the barbecue there is always you know like that's like you can really trust it because you know you you go everywhere and you trust your hands not necessarily using maybe a spatula or some kind of mixing thing guys so what i'm doing is i'm just mixing it i want my no cubes to go all over mind you you can use a pinch of salt but like i always say because i believe that no cubes has little salt in there although they don't tell you it does so i'm not gonna add no salt anymore so that's my crushed pepper flakes that is my onion powder guys i'm just gonna sprinkle it on there and boom ready to go guys then very next thing is this is my soya spices this is mixed with like natural you know flavors in there is my soya spice mix so i'm going to add in my garlic powder ginger powder i'll add all of that in there this is my cameroon pepper you can feel free to add it in there you can go in with your cayenne pepper like this one you can put little paprika to give it like this uh, smoky flavor and all of that feel free guys to use your fingers and mix everything really good this is my food it's not like i'm taking it to go sell somewhere guys so don't tell me to use gloves you don't really need gloves for this because if your hands are clean and all of that you just go ahead and mix it so guys i'm done mixing and to really be sure that you know you've like gone wherever and mixed it thoroughly guys when you see that i look at that you see on both sides it's really coated with the seasoning back and forth it's really coated so what i would do is i would just go ahead and put my tray like my baking tray feel free to bake this as well or you can use you know your grill but because i don't have a grill i'll just take my you know paper is it aluminum paper or your you know transparent paper or patch paper just put it on your baking tray and then line everything you know accordingly and then you bake it i put it at 350 degrees guys so when i'm done doing that i'll just bake it don't bake it on high preheat your oven and toss that baby in there at 350 degrees bake it for 15 minutes and then you flip it on the other side and bake it again for another 15 minutes and after that time your beef should be already cooked guys so this is how it looks when it just gets out of the oven you see see that it's like glossy you know the seasoning is really coated on there i'll go ahead and then chop it and guys this is a final look when i chop everything this is how it looks like i really love it it's really it's already spicy anyways but if you want extra heat you can put you know some of the soya pepper by the side you can eat it with onions feel free to put vegetables in there guys but to me i believe that if you're eating soya just go ahead and eat the soya like that you know but feel free to eat whatever veggies but you can also put it you know by the side of your fried rice your jollof rice whatever it is if you try this recipe let me know until next time it's bella it's always much love from me to you